And Luke Kamen is the battery mate for Luke McNeely. And the first pitch of the night just missed inside for ball one. On the weekend. Here's Andrew Bright. And he slaps that one past the diving second baseman, Cade Curlin, for a one-out base hit. And we await a 2-1 delivery. And that is trouble in the gap. And we'll see how fast Brake gets moving here. And they will hold him at third with a one-out double slapped into the gap by Bodecker. This is where he's got to maybe drop a good slider in down the dirt here. Ground ball to short. Shelton on the backhand. Long throw to first and dug out by Caglione. The runner from third. Great scores. That's a hot shot through the hole. They're going to wave the runner around third base. Oh, now they put the brakes on on a big time throw in by the freshman Yost down in Orlando. Houston Cougars. There's a drive into right. Evans to the track to the wall and it is gone. A home run. Sneaks over the highest portion of the right field wall. And a three-run shot here for Andrew Williamson. His first home run of the year. RBIs four, five, and six. And just like that is four to nothing in the top of the first. Well, Rich Wallace talking about Andrew Williamson. He said this guy, Williamson, could be, end up being the best of the bunch because he's got strength. He's got bat speed. Where he has, yep. what, three home runs, three home runs to yeah. go along with the straw knee on the mound. And he lifts this one out toward the right center field gap, and this one's going to shoot over the fence. Home run, Jack Caglione. There is that wind blowing out the center. That may have been a little wind aided, but then again, it's Jack Caglione who gets Florida on the board with his fifth home run of the season. He hits the ball further with a lower launch angle than anyone that I've seen in baseball. That's saying something. I mean, he, look, look at this right there. He goes down and gets it. That's not a big launch angle swing. Watch him, a little genuflection to go down and get it. McClenny, Florida for near eye. And a hot shot down the third base line as a leadoff single for near eye. Cast a spurs, but he is a catcher. Ball four. Heyman gloves it and pumped to third and takes the out at first base. A sack bunt puts two in scoring position and a run will score on this ground ball here. Shelton throws to first and a run batted in for Andrew Brait to make it five to one. Big lead at third base. And that is a hot shot at Caglione. He'll have to flip to the bag and there to cover his fill pot and the inning comes to an end. They've got a lot of arms on this roster. That's a rocket into center field, and Robertson's aboard to start things in the Gator third. The 3 2, runner going. At third, Brait's only play is to first. Chance to drive one in here with Robertson at second base. And he may just do that. That's down for a hit. Robertson, easy turnaround third. He's in to score. And Jack Caglione has two runs batted in tonight. He's aboard at first. And a 12-game hit streak, alive and well for Jack Caglione, two for two. Just love how he goes with pitches, and this is going to be part of his maturation process. It's a breaking ball that hangs. Three years at Campbell, first year here at UCF. That's lifted into left center field. Williamson will cut it off. Good turn by Caglione. I don't think he ever had a doubt he was going, not going to third in the family. Swinging bunt right side. Run will score. Backhand flip to the bag. Just got Shelton. But the Gators pull within two. Okay. This is Colby and his sisters. Heyman with a moon ball here. But playable for Ziska in right field. And that'll do it. It was 4 nothing at the start. Oh, that just missed. Give up a run. Get fouled. No, oh, it's into the corner. Extra bases here for Prevesk. And they're going to wave him around third. And Kluska, who had the two-odd walk, is in to score on an RBI double. And stings his old team here to make it 6-3. to three. I've seen that happen many a time. And, you know, managing the minor leagues, I've had pitchers that will do that too. And I just yell from the dugout, get the hitter. Decent lead at second by Prevesk. This one's shot in the gap. Long way to go for Robertson. Won't get there. It's on a hop. Prevesk is in to score from second. And Prevesk and Bray trade places here all with two outs. And it's 7-3 to three, Central Florida. And that's a pitch that 
just just works its way back over the middle of the plate. He made him pay. Shift is on for Bodecker. That one's right at Evans. And the inning comes to an end. Not before two more runs score, both on two outs. I played ball with Tom Candiotti, uh, former Tough Gale. shot. Curlin shoots that one past the shortstop, Kluski. That's a rocket. What a stab by Bodecker at first base and able to double off Curland as well. I have no idea. He checks the glove. I would too. The freshmen are getting the call. That's lifted into left, and Klesk is aboard for the third time tonight. Perra walks in now, this leadoff single. But a four-run lead right now for the Knights on the strength of eight hits. Sharply hit ground ball. Nice play by Curlin. Went down to get it and is able to retire Prevesk as Kluska advances to second. Two for three tonight. That's behind Heyman. And a late jump, but Kluska gets to third base. The maturation process that's got to be sped up for these freshman pitchers. And that one is through and in to score is Kluska. The bases are empty. The infield will back up. Sat and misses here again. Four straight pitches. You know, how do you feel after you eat this on a certain day? They're learning all this. That one's past Curlin, who lays out again to his left. And going first to third here is Brait. The throw is too late. And in with a head first slide is Brait. And taking the second base bag is Bodecker with a single to right. Infield to step off the grass. And that ball is shot out into the center toward Robertson, tagging at third, and Brait will easily score. And Bodecker takes third base as well. So it's 9-3 to three now, UCF. Popped him up. And Ty Evans has a chance to end the inning, and does. That Caglione almost put through the first baseman's mitt. Swing and a drive into left field for the bullpen. Adios, home run, number two on the year for Brody Donay. Um, I don't know if that was airborne for more than about two and a half seconds. The big man layers his one out to left field and fastball just pulls the trigger on it down the middle. There's your short compact swing. You can see where the hands generate right towards the pitcher. Hit a home run, then walk the guy. Oh, what a stab by the shortstop. That's a big time defensive play for Kluska. Bottom of the seventh. And this one is well hit by Prevest. Robertson on the run. Got there in time. 3-2. And missed tall here, and that's a two-odd walk. And he hits an absolute moonshot to right. Holy cow, that is way gone for Colby Shelton. RBIs 14 and 15 on Shelton's sixth home run of the year. Okay, job one taken care of. You cut it inside the four-run lead, so now it's only a three-run lead. It's going to be six, seven, and eight in the lineup. Oh, and he hits Sundin. Three-two. Fly ball, tough play here. Shallow left. Landon Russell's got it. Yeah, Does he make the catch? Yeah, he did. Inside, he checked the swing. No, appeal to the third base umpire. The Eaters have scored in each of their last two at bats, and there's a base runner. Slave lead at first by Wilson, the 0 2. Got him on strikes. The Eaters are down to their last out. 1 2, ground ball. Australia throws out Robertson, and that'll do it. Ball game, UCF. Upsets fourth ranked Florida tonight by the final score of nine to six.